Hi everyone, you all know how much I love making cheesecakes and today I've got another amazing one for you. I'm making the best non-baked lemon cheesecake. This cheesecake has a lovely citrus flavour and it's topped with a gorgeous homemade lemon curd. You'll find all my cheesecake recipes on my channel. If you'd like to check them out, that'd be great. We're starting with the cheesecake base. For this cheesecake, I'm gonna use something different. I'm using shortbread biscuits. I think they go great with lemon, but you could also use digestive or graham crackers either. Use a food processor to break the biscuits up into fine crumbs. Pop them into a bowl and pour in the melted butter. Give everything a good stir so that the biscuit crumb and melted butter are all mixed in. This is ready now, so let's get it into the tin. This tin is eight inches and there's no need to grease or line the tin, as there's lots of butter in the biscuit base. Here's a great tip for you. If you're using a springform tin, you can flip the base over so that there's no rim. By doing this, it makes it so much easier to remove the cheesecake when it's made. This is ready for the fridge, so pop it into the fridge for about half an hour. Next, we're making the cheesecake filling. For this cheesecake, I'm using mascarpone cheese, but you can use cream cheese or even a mix of both. Add the ice and sugar, mix until the cheese and the ice and sugar are fully combined. It's best to use cheese and double cream that are at room temperature, so take them out of the fridge at least one hour before you start making your cheesecake. I'm adding the double cream now and I'm only going to mix until the cream is combined and it's just starting to thicken. You need to be careful at this stage not to overmix, as we still have to add the food colouring and the lemon juice. Add in a little yellow gel food colouring. This will give the mixture a nice light yellow colour. This is optional and will still taste the same if you don't have any. Pour in the lemon juice and mix one last time on low speed until the mixture is nice and thick. I don't use any gelatine in my cheesecake, so you need to make sure that the mixture is thick so you get a good set. Now let's get this onto the biscuit base. Using a spatula or a spoon, level the top of the cheesecake until it's nice and smooth. The recipe for this cheesecake can be found in the description box under the video. That's it, the hardest part is done. Tap on the worktop to remove any air bubbles. Pop in the fridge for at least 7 hours or overnight. Now for the best part, it's time to decorate the cheesecake. When the cheesecake is set, remove from the fridge and using a knife slide it along the side of the tin. Remove the tin from the cheesecake. I'm using plain whipped cream to decorate, pipe cream rosettes along the edge of the cheesecake. This tip I'm using is a 2D closed tip, but you can use whatever one you prefer. I'm adding lemon curd to the centre, as I love the taste and colour of it on the cheesecake. If you want to try something different to lemon curd, grate the zest of a lemon over the top and it'll look lovely too. To finish off, place lemon slices between each rosette. I've piped 16 rosettes and used 16 lemon slices on top of the cheesecake. The lemon curd and lemon slices really make the cheesecake stand out. This cheesecake freezes really well. It can be frozen with the cream, lemon curd and lemon slices. I freeze cheesecake all the time as I love to keep a slice in the freezer for my mother-in-law when she visits. Just look how firm it is. That's what I love about this cheesecake. Absolutely beautiful. Thanks so much for watching. If you get a chance, check out some of my other cheesecake videos. There's so many for every occasion. Don't forget to subscribe and if you need any help, leave me a comment and I'll get back to you. See you next week and happy baking everyone! Mmm, squammy!